People often ask what a portrait sitting is like. It's actually a really relaxed setting. We come in, we chat about the client's vision for the portrait, talk about the subject and what needs to be captured or said about them. After that, I look around the home, find a good place that has lighting, both indoor and outdoor, and we take photos. And it's very laid back. I click my camera almost constantly so that I can capture those micro expressions between conversations. We often chat, get to know each other, and really try to get a sense of my subject. So there's lots of laughter, lots of talking, and it looks very different than a posed photo shoot. My favorite part of portrait sitting is deciding what pieces of my subject are gonna be the most important that I'm gonna make the portrait about. I always chat with clients about the role that my subject plays in the family, I get to know them by asking questions about their likes and dislikes, and then going from there and using the images I've captured to create a work of art that will be a lasting statement about that person. It's an awesome job, and I really enjoy it. Artists, when they arrive, usually have an idea of what would work well for your child, also for your home, and can give you their thoughts. And we also love direction from clients. Sometimes clients have a dream and a vision already started in their mind, and we artists love hearing those thoughts on that as well. When it comes to clients who don't know what direction they want to go in, artists also love that. We love to be able to let the sitting evolve. I personally like to be able to take photographs indoor and outdoors, so we have the options for either. Lighting and color, and oftentimes the subject, will change so drastically depending on the setting. We are using these images to get to know our subject, to make sure we have expressions and poses and body language that help convey the person that we're photographing. Clothing is very secondary. We can change the color of an outfit, we can adjust pieces of it. I mostly encourage people to choose clothing that they feel comfortable in, that's indicative of something they would wear. For children, often I encourage people to choose things that will help show how young the child is and also not have to worry about the color of the clothing or the pattern because it's a very simple adjustment for us artists to make those subtle changes that help convey how you want it to look in the final product. The two most common concerns I get from clients about the portrait sitting is whether or not the hair will look correct and will the subject be comfortable or well-behaved, calm enough for the photo shoot. I mostly share with my clients, they can send me photographs of the perfect hair day that I can use for reference when capturing the child's portrait or an adult's portrait for that matter. And then as far as the subject feeling comfortable, my job as an artist is to be able to connect to my subject wherever they are. If they're a small child, being able to sit on the floor, talk about toys, goof off a little bit, all of those pieces will help me see the child in their comfortable state and capture expressions and images that is having a good time and comfortable in their home. If I'm capturing an older child or an adult, it's my job to put them at ease and help them forget about the photo shoot and just enjoy getting to know me as a person and me getting to know them. And those things come through in the portrait process. I often say portraiture is the only investment that you also get to experience. And that's why I think portraiture is really special and why working with a company like Portraits Inc. is a vital part of that.